You are watching Momo Beginner Swings. For further tutorials, please subscribe to us and also ring this bell for further notification in your mailbox. Hi guys, I'm Momo and I'm back with some holiday special tutorial. Today we are making Christmas stocking and for that I have made a pattern for you guys which is free and you can download it from dresscraft.com in a day or tonight of course. Uh, this is the pattern that I have used and it will be gonna upload soon on dresscraft.com. You can download it for free. This is a last minute uh, tutorial so i hope gu you guys don't mind it um if you did it didn't work this year for you you can use it for the next year of course uh, this is a pattern which i laid down on the red fabric which is a hard jersey fabric you can say it's a race kind of fabric or heavyweight fa heavyweightish fa fabric like knit uh, knit kind of fabric and i have just placed my pattern over there and just do a um, easy cutting for it one thing you need uh, you need a two kind of fabric for this one is for pure red um, in one shade and the second one i'm going to use is the uh, red and blue uh, gingham fabric with the white base and it is going to be a top of the stocking so let us start with the sewing of course yes i've just forgot it uh, let us start with the sewing of course you can see that i have taken a rectangular piece of uh, four by three inch uh, four by three in the ratio and cut it into the two pieces because it is going to be on the both side of our stocking and the second thing we need and the third thing that i forget in the cutting and it is the hook we need to stall in uh, stocking so it can be hang easily uh, I have taken 5 inch long bias tape and just sewing it uh, and making a bias tape if you don't know how to make a bias tape you can it's, uh, you can uh, see a tutorial in a you can uh, grab the link from the eye above black eye above and this is uh, done I have done with my I have done with my bias tape or you can say a hang hook kind of thing and I am going to replace it and this is the double crumb and we need to place it on the back side of the stocking of one uh, one sided and I am taking my rectangular piece and going to attach it uh, over the top of the stocking and the second one is uh, going to attach similarly on the top of the stocking you can see uh, i'm a little bit uh, in urgency so i, I may made uh, any kind of confusion over here so um, just be particular about what i am doing over here i have placed my fabric on the back side of the stocking where i have placed the book run. okay and similarly the it is going for the second one uh, they are facing back side okay so i i will revert it them and uh, they are going to be in the inner side basically we are going to do the inner seam in it uh, under stitch in it basically and then we are going to revert it and going to do final seams if you are regular watcher of uh, mom 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 beginner so you guys got to know that what i am doing over here okay what i am going to do over here I am going to sew uh, the whole stocking together and then I am going to open up the sides edges of the, the stocking which is in the gingham print. Why I am doing this because I need a proper dimensions and proper start and end of the stocking as well as I, it will not going to make it happen for me if you guys can do it without it you can do it uh, for this you need to watch this tutorial till the end um, okay what I'm going to do I'm placing my fabric end to end edge you can see that here you go I'm repeating it again you need to do a hand seam or kind of uh, larger seam need to do a stitches much larger for it 
because we need to remove these stitches which uh, have been taken on the gingham side the two sided the start of the two start to inch we need to remove it i'm just doing a simple under stitch on the edges and uh, after that i need i will make a notches and reward it okay This is a simple stocking pattern that you are going to have on dresscuff.com if you are last minute or just like me, last minute person just like me and do everything in a rush hour so you can do this as well and prepare for your Christmas holidays as well. Don't need to buy for it or in for a dollar or two for a penny for a buck but you can do it this in a real time way okay this is the you can see that i'm making this a stitch but you need to remove it as well because this is this is just for proper scaling so end to end they are going to match from it after now i'm going to remove uh, after reverting the fabric i'm going to remove this uh, size edges because these are just for remembrance so they can form side to side completely done from side to side and there is no imbalancing or glitches between or fumbleness in the fabric hope you get my point or you didn't get my point you just need to see the video this kind of thing is really much um, reverting back the fabric with having a bookram in it it is uh, it is very much uh, paining for me so i'll just use seam ripper for it or just a screwdriver for it wherever you would have in your machine toolbox just use it when we when the last minute things are doing there should there uh, there is a hundred percent chances actually 99.5 for 99.5 percent chances that you can do some mess so don't be afraid of it just clear your mess and complete the project this is the end thing okay you can see that this looks like this okay but as i have told you that we need to remove the edges which should be properly assembled like this okay i have just removed the edges and now i am doing a single seam i have just removed the sewing of the start start and end part uh, which is lies on the gingham part on the gingham side and just remove the stitches from it and just do a simple seam along the sides of both sides basically start and end of course and uh, just this is just a done thing okay you can see that I'm just uh, doing a double boot uh, double boot thing a double boot sew or over here and just removing the uh, excess part of the fabric and just folding the reverting back the upper part and you can see that this looks very nice clean and just as we want very much in a decent way this look th it looks fluffy in a way and uh, there is no fumbleness in this hope you guys get my point that you need to remove a start and end seams uh, stitches and then do again stitches from the front side so you can revert it very well now what i'm doing i'm just uh, doing a final uh, under stitch for under stitch final stitches which is going to sew from the front side or the back side 
and before that i've just forgot that that this hook is going to place in it just um, place the hook on the uh, back of the stocking and placing by placing it you just need to do a under stitch with it uh, under stitch final stitch final stitching on this under stitch so your stocking will be look alike that it it it, it is pressed one this is a final finishes you need to done on under stitch if you have seen momo beginner sewing videos before you know how to do under stitch and then for a reverting back and do a final stitch so there is nothing need to be worry on it now after doing that as you as we have done stocking on uh, on under stitch thing so i need to do a final stitch thing on this as well pardon i'm just about to complete this stocking hope you guys like this christmas stocking and uh, we have two in a row videos as well the other one is for a christmas hat and the th third one is going to be shock you guys because we are making a table mat for you this holiday stay tuned with us and subscribe to us watch our videos like our videos and do sewing in holidays as well hope you guys like it please subscribe to us and comment below thank you